Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing uh, fantastic uh, in this month of April, which has been intense, has been very intense uh, with uh, the eclipse uh, that uh, came uh, earlier uh, on the eighth, on the eighth of April. So it's been it's been rather uh, a very very intense uh, month, uh, at least for myself as well. I can tell you. Um, but everything is good, um, and I hope you guys keeping well as well. Uh, so today, today we're going to talk about uh, the astrological uh, transits coming up uh, now in the second half of April. What to look out for, and what are the lessons that the universe uh, want us to uh, incorporate? What can we learn uh, from this energy? Remember that this is. Uh, the planets are energies, energies that are being um, asked from us to embody them. So the energies want us to embody them, to express them outwards, to let them flow through us um, and not to block them. Uh, so that's the point of uh, each and every planet. It's an energy that wants to be expressed. So let's express them. Let's express all these energies in our lives, um, each of us in our own way, because they will fall in different parts of the chart, in different houses. So we need to express it um, in a personal way, always. Um, so with that said, uh, I mean, it's, yeah, it's been intense, guys. It's been really intense uh, with uh, the attack, uh, for example, of, um, of Iran, uh, on Israel uh, with drones uh, just uh, a few days after uh, the eclipse. Um, everyone was thinking World War Three. here we go again. Um, well, uh, yes, I mean, it was interesting because on the 6th of October, remember, we also had an eclipse. And back then, it was the beginning of, uh, of the war um uh, in uh, palestine with the attack of hamas and then the uh, reply of of israel and then now six months later we've got um another episode there with iran attacking israel um and all the fears of world war three remember uh that we said it with with chiron in aries and with this conjunction uh this uh, new moon of aries uh, this eclipse in aries we're basically seeing uh, war drums, war drums being played. Yes, there is a danger of war. People, everybody threatening everybody. Everybody thinks that uh, we're going to go to World War Three. Uh, we are on the brink, on the edge uh, of uh, a massive conflict. Um, but we are in Mercury retrograde. So I'm hopeful because there is a lot of miscommunication, a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of... Um, messages which are not being understood or heard uh, so uh, I think that uh, things will clear up massively uh, after the 25th um, of April when Mercury turns direct again and especially after the 10th of May when it moves out of the shadow period so um, so but, we, but we're still going to see the effects of these eclipses you know this eclipse was very powerful uh, or in um, in uh, Aries uh, with a conjunction of of Chiron, and so we're still going to see the pain uh, from not being able to be oneself because that's Aries. Aries is about this is who I am. I am I, are the words of Aries. I exist. I'm here, and I'm going to be allowed to exist. But with Chiron, there is. This is the pain of not being able to be myself, of not being able to be, to act. You know, this this uh, pain, this of that comes, and this violence that sometimes comes from not being able to be oneself. So I'm thinking, for example, there was an American soldier back in um, end of February when Chiron was already in in Aries that immolated himself in front of the Israel embassy to protest against um, the war um, against uh, Gaza. And actually the, the cleansing that's happening there is, is quite uh, incredible uh, on, on many levels. Um, and the, the brutality of, um, of that war uh, 
Um, so when we cannot be ourselves, when it, when we are angry and we cannot be ourselves and we cannot protest and we cannot say and we don't have a voice and we don't, no one listens to us, um, then uh, we resort to violence. So that's what happened to that soldier, um, and um, and that's what we're seeing uh, more uh, frustration with uh, uh, Iran coming on the on the scene of the war, but also uh, with uh, Ukraine, um, it's it's more of that. So, um, what I suggest here is if you feel uh, in your life that you are also unable to speak up, unable to be heard, unable to um, be yourself. Well, just breathe um, and try to find ways, to, obviously, to be yourself, obviously, to communicate. And maybe you need to resort to uh, different... I mean, violence, uh, yes, sometimes is inevitable, but if we apply consciousness and awareness to the situation, we can always find a solution um, which if it does, if others don't like it, well, you know, they're going to have to get used to it. Um, but we need to be ourselves. So I encourage you to be yourself. Um, don't let the anger of not being able to be yourself consume you until uh, you explode. Uh, but uh, be always yourself. Don't accumulate uh, anger, frustration over time. Um this is what life is about. This is what astrology is about. It's about helping us to be ourselves always, uh, as much as possible. Show it to the world. The world benefits when everybody is themselves um, uh, because that we are all unique and we all have unique qualities to bring to the table. So let's try and be aware of that, guys, okay? Um now with Jupiter, uh, so sorry, before that, uh, so Mercury uh, retrograde continues. Mercury retrograde continues during this month until the 25th of April. So remember uh, that we are Mercury retrograde since the beginning of April. Um, this is a good time to finish off, to redo, um, to revise, to review, uh, to revisit. Uh, to finish off all things that haven't been completed. Um, so uh, do that, but try not to do new things, not to launch new things, not to start off new things. Okay. Um, and um, uh, apart from that, um, I would uh, suggest that uh, Mercury Retrograde then uh, is a good time to um to go inside to to take your time to to rethink maybe things that have been going on in the past too um and then once uh, from the 25th of april you can uh move forward move forward with new things move forward and and uh, you have contracts to sign buying houses buying cars uh try to avoid a uh, dream mercury retrograde uh postpone uh, till after Mercury retrograde, it's always better. Um, and then um, from the 10th of May onwards is when really Mercury uh, moves out of the shadow period, and then is when really things start to clear up uh, with regards to misunderstandings also. So be careful with misunderstandings. Be very clear in your communication. Be very aware of the of the words you'd use. You know, words carry a lot of power. Uh, use words wisely. Choose them well, because there can be miscommunication, misunderstandings. And if somebody gets hurt or gets, just say, you know, say, okay, you know, there can be a misunderstanding. It's part of life. Uh, sometimes we are in different wavelengths, and we're not going to understand each other always. So, just. Be patient. Be patient with each other. Be patient. Don't expect always to hear the exact words that you want to hear. And don't expect that the others will always understand what you mean. Um, but maybe something else. And and that's why, that's why they create some, some tension. So just take it easy, especially that we are in uh, at the end of Aries now. And there's been so much Aries, so much... Um, 
conflict going on. Um, it's, uh, yeah, be patient, be patient, and things will get easier. Uh, and be aware, be aware of your words. Um, okay, so uh, then uh, today, 19th of April, uh, we're going to have a Venus conjunct uh, Chiron and Mercury uh, on the point of the eclipse um, on the 19th degrees of Aries. Uh, so this is good time to heal. Venus is a benefic. Uh, Venus will uh, soften things, will make things easier. Uh, I think... Uh, will do it, make things softer so let's uh let's be aware of that and let's use this energy to heal um this is also a time when peace movements could uh come up uh, especially uh, now that venus is going through the point of the eclipse because the points where eclipses happen or where big conjunctions happen carry memory uh, so those points become uh, activated as other planets go through them. And with uh, with with Venus going through that point of the eclipse, now is the time maybe to heal uh, the wounds, to create peace movements. Um, so let's uh, hopefully we can we get we get some peace movements uh, to um, to really uh, repair uh, all this pain that has been created over the past months uh, in many parts of the world. Um, apart from that, uh, we have obviously uh, the uh, big and important Jupiter-Uranus conjunction that's happening this weekend, uh, this weekend of the 20th, 21st of April. Uh, we're having that conjunction that has been building for the last few months this is a major conjunction of the uh, this uh, of the year. It's actually the biggest, uh, most significant event, astrological event of the year, uh, with Jupiter uh, conjuncting Uranus. And these are two planets that move, that look uh, at the future, that are future looking, that are forward looking. So that means that the future is going to come quickly uh, to our lives. Um, and it's going to, so what's going to happen then you will tell us, well, that depends on where it falls in your chart. Um, so where do you have, uh, basically 21 degrees of Taurus, uh, on which house, uh, because that's where the, this conjunction will happen. So any, uh, and it will affect a planets in the last, uh, uh between the degrees between degrees 16 and 26 or 27 of the fixed signs so that's taurus that's uh, scorpio that's um, aquarius and leo um so if you have planets between those degrees in those signs uh watch out for this conjunction and in any case it's going to affect everybody because it will fall in one specific house. In that house, the future will come up upon you quickly. Um, okay, so be open, because if you're not open, um, it could be a shock, because Uranus uh, comes with sh uh, shocks very often, um, and the shock will be expanded and made bigger by Jupiter, and that shock, that new energy, that, that Uranian revolutionary energy is going to integrate into the uh, into our spirit into our philosophy into our visions of the future which is more jupiter so for example if it's happening in your fourth house uh changes with respect to where you live uh with respect to family with respect to uh the um, your your uh, your home uh if it's happening in uh, the tenth house, um, the same thing with respect to career uh, positions. So career changes that you knew were coming are going to come. Are going to come on quickly. Um, if it's happening in uh, the seventh house, 
changes with respect to relationship, your committed relationship, maybe a new uh, level in the relationship, maybe a relationship change, maybe a new relationship if you are not in a relationship, or maybe a new uh, step in a relationship if you are uh, not... Um, if you've been on a particular level of a relationship, well, relationships sometimes evolve uh, to new levels, to new changes. There's a new relationship in that old relationship. So uh, many things can happen, okay? Um, so look at where it falls. Uh, in general, we can expect, obviously, agriculture revolutions with, because it's in Taurus, we can expect a new pharmacology um new drugs uh we can perhaps see this with also uh, the psychedelic movement but the psychedelics are becoming a uh, new ways of treatment um i personally always prefer uh the natural ways the traditional ways the native ways of using psychedelics um always in a ceremonial, traditional ways, um, but um, a, in a, as close to nature as possible. But there's going to be new pharmacology, there's going to be new, um, also, um, uh, there's going to be changes in, in volatility in financial markets as well around uh, this uh, conjunction. We're seeing it in the last uh, weeks, the last three weeks already, um, things are, are heating up, things are very unstable uh, financially. Um, with crypto as well, things are unstable, lots of volatility uh, we are observing. Um, and also uh, new technology when it comes to military technology, for example, we are seeing that the, the wars of the future will be drone wars. We, see it, we saw it with the attack of uh, Iran on Israel, uh, plenty of drones, plenty of missiles, um you know so drones uh, is, is are flying the air which is uranus which is the sky it's uranus um then uh and then we see it uh, uh how they used to attack the earth you know so that's that's taurus um and jupiter just expands all that so makes it very big and obvious so we saw there was a massive you know 300 or whatever drones uh and missiles that were uh, sent towards Israel. So we see um, that technology is changing as well. And we see that now with, with Uranus um, and Jupiter, we could see new ways of, of traveling also, of uh, new airplanes, um, new new ways of traveling in the sky. We can see it in the sky and the atmosphere will be, uh, is, is the future with, for example, Starlink, with so many things with so many more satellites being sent into space. So Jupiter-Uranus, massive uh, conjunction, changing a lot of things. Um, and then, obviously, the full moon. The full moon, which is coming on the 24th, um, the full moon will be uh, in Scorpio, uh, with the sun already in Taurus. So when the sun moves in Taurus from the 20th, uh, of April already things are going to ease a little bit it's not going to be any more, any more so violent so intense the, the energy so the energy is going to be easing um, and uh, there's going to be um, more calm more uh, things are going to settle a little bit but with that full energy with that full moon in Scorpio making a T-square with uh, Pluto, so Pluto squaring both uh, the sun and the moon um, from where it is in Aquarius, that's going to make it very intense. Um, so deep emotions, it could be a moment where deep emotions really erupt. Um, it's a moment, you know, Scorpio brings really deep things out. So it's a time to Go deep inside and let whatever is in deep inside out. I suggest you start doing it from now. Uh, if you feel you have things bubbling inside, um, and especially if you are uh, uh, Scorpio, 
or if you have planets in Scorpio, or you have intense Plutos, or um, this uh, full moon is hitting your personal planets, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, um, then uh, watch, uh, watch out and start releasing, start releasing, start releasing, because it's going to come out. It's going to come out uh, into the open and any secrets uh, that were hidden will arise, uh, especially anything with sexual energy, uh, can uh, sexual secrets uh, can come out. Um, there can be also power and control games uh, will be revealed as well. Uh, so uh, let it all uh, flow out, don't resist. Uh, it may be painful, but it's better. Always things are in the open. Things uh, we are all aware of everything. Uh, hiding um, can only be done for so long. Sooner or later, the truth always comes out. So I suggest that uh, you let it um, flow out and then that full moon will be easier. But it's going to be intense. It's going to be intense in those topics of uh, Scorpio uh, with uh, Pluto there squaring. Um, so uh, lots of uh, drama potentially and lots of uh, emotional intensity um, okay so we just the key here is to bring consciousness and approach it with love whatever happens is just teaching us it's just we are learning we are all learning whether we are the one doing it or whether we are the one receiving it uh, we are all learning how to react, how to process, what is the lesson. Think about it. Whenever something really hard like that happens is, what is the lesson that the universe wants me to learn? If you have that clear in your head, it will be much easier to navigate whatever is coming to you. Okay, so just learn the lesson. It's not that don't get into victimization, don't get into uh, anger, uh, uh, uncontrolled anger, just say, okay, what do I need to learn from this? What is it that I need to learn? Why is this happening to me? It's happening to me because I need to learn something. I have whatever our life, we are creating it. We are creating our life, guys. So just uh, whatever happens to us is our own creation, even if it's others doing it to us. Um, we are unconsciously looking for it. Uh, what do we need to learn? What do we need to learn? So just keep on learning, keep on growing. That's what life is about. Okay, so, um, yeah, and then uh, we have the full moon, and then uh, we have, uh, to finish off, uh, Mars will conjunct Neptune at the end of the, uh, of the, of the month. Um, so there, it's going to be confused, it will maybe some confusion with respect to, um, your energy, uh, your, you know, Mars is the energy, is how we fight, but conjuncting Neptune is diffused. So this is a time to step back, step back and observe, contemplate. Don't push, don't push, don't, don't, don't fight, just contemplate, step back, meditate. Okay, that's, the, that's what we need to do there in the last few days of April. Um, realize that we are all one. It's not about fighting uh, one another. It's about realizing that we all want that I am you and you are me. Um, and the way we treat the other is the way I treat myself. Um, so uh, that's the that's what's coming. Okay, guys. So I hope this video was useful. If you liked it, please give me a like. If you also enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel. That always is very helpful to me. And uh, I'll see you uh, in about a week with another video, uh, which uh, will be about astrology and how we can learn through astrology, how we can grow with astrology and heal as well. Okay, guys, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.